when we're bringing new technologies into our operations, it's crucial that they fit seamlessly into our existing frameworks. So what a UAS operator is seeing on their screen is, is, is useful and impactful, but being able to get that out to distributed users to provide more, more timely and accurate information is really going to increase the speed of decision making and the overall value that that sensor can provide. Any new integration must enhance, rather than complicate, the decision-making process. We have all kinds of ways to basically integrate with all these other systems in a way that preserves a lot of our capability. Every system has to be interoperable and not be its own silo. And it's super valuable for us, instead of one person at one controller having to tell people what's going on, we can simply stream that data you know, out to a network that people are already using, and, and we can be interoperable with all these protocols and different systems, but also retain the ability to have the autonomous capability that we want to use. You're not relaying or pl playing this game of telephone. It's your own guys controlling the drone, and it's instantaneous information. And with the adaption of ATAC systems where you can have video being pushed to your ATAC device, you can be there on the battlefield looking live at the video that's being provided from the ISRS set right above you. The open modular architecture of X10D takes the Mavlink and RAS A protocols and the MISB protocols that we've already been working on and supporting within the X2 Delta architecture and extends it to also work with the new pieces that are a plug and play within the X10D world. That includes things like the attachments, the radios, the gimbals, the payloads, all of the important pieces within X10D. We're using the Tomahawk grip and associated KXM and MXC radios. We're also leveraging UXV and their SROC controller. We leverage the ATAC UAS tool. Those open standards basically enable us to go through the process much more rapidly. I think as we look three to five to seven years out, we're going to see a lot more robotics solutions on the battlefield. We're going to see end users and customers figuring out unique ways to integrate robotics or unmanned systems into their problem set to solve hard challenging problems or to decrease risk. And the modular design that was a focus from the very start empowers users to adapt swiftly with payloads that, that we're providing first party as you know, from Skydio or develop their own third party payloads that are tailored to their unique mission needs. Having the payload ports, having all of this future proofing built into the drone really helps protect your investment because you're not locked into what you have today.